Can you say it again? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay. Hello, it's Suklisi here, and welcome back to my channel. Right. <laughs> I cannot take this seriously because my stupid two nephews are looking at me. Goodness! Cover, cover, cover your face. Yes, I am recording with two children right now. They don't want to leave me. I'm in a very different place. I am not in my usual home. I transferred to another home, and I am with them. In a very small house and I cannot escape them the one is looking at me at the eyeballs right now so if I stutter blame it on them oh my gosh he's laughing What are you doing, Arya? <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> You're still laughing at me. <laughs> the day my dad was with it, and you were laughing Sleep. at me. Oh my gosh. Mm. That wasn't a slap. I did not hit her. I didn't hit her. Okay. Okay. What are we gonna talk about today? Oh, we're gonna talk about this thing. You're probably wondering, Cleesy, where's your hand right now? I thought you're going to record with a different camera. Uh, well, I got news for you. I got scam, buddy. <laughs> I was supposed to buy a stupid phone stand so that I could record this more aesthetically. But it was a big, massive failure. Uh, it didn't come out. At as it's not it it didn't come I didn't give the result that I want okay it uh, uh, it was a different item and I was super mad because it it's kind it's kind of my first time ordering from that shop by myself with my own money and then it's very very expensive hold on let me slap my stupid nephew for a while he keeps laughing okay I'm back and yes i got scammed and i didn't get the product that was advertised i swear to you i saw the review i saw the pictures i saw the comments all of them are good they have like good ratings i'm not just gonna buy out of nowhere i'm not that stupid so since it has a very highly received positive reviews i ordered it and it was around 25 ish dollars I was like, okay, fine. I needed this. I really want it. I want to have a more fancy camera setup for my videos. But then, alas, it came to me. It was a different item. I was supposed to order this. This phone stand. This fancy looking thing. But I got this thing. This bicycle image. Okay. So... Because of that, we are gonna stick to screen recording, okay? We are gonna stick to it and we, we have no choice. You have no choice. I have no choice because I have no money anymore, okay? Don't worry, I got refunded digitally. But that money is gone now. <laughs> are you done? Can I speak? Can I speak? Can I explain my process? Are you still laughing? Why are you laughing? Okay. Are you done now? Are you okay now? Can I speak now? Oh my gosh! Thank you. 
Okay, let us now explain the art process. Uh, yeah, so as we can see, I am already doing the blocking of the color. And to be honest, I had a hard time uh, figuring out the color palette because there are a lot of items and I am very confused on how to harmonize it. Like, especially that book. That book was so confusing. I changed a lot of views on that. I'm not sure if I want it dark or light. Uh, yeah. But I have this exact image on what colors I'm going to use. But I'm still very, very confused. Um, what I did, I just took a color palette from another image. From Pinterest. Yes, you can do that. Color palette is... You, you cannot steal those things. You can, you can borrow colors. That is possible. Don't say it's stealing. It's borrowing. It's, it's, it's an inspiration. Don't be ridiculous! Starting out this art was... Uh, it's supposed to be simple, to be honest. There was not supposed to be any kind of furniture. I don't even think this is a background. This is just... A bunch of furniture laying around so I cannot really consider this as a fully like background art in a way because they're just you know random items lying in the ground well not super random it does has it is related to the character so yeah so like I said I just build up and this is just a nonsense about art it does not make sense I just made fun of, made sure to have fun with it and therefore it took me so long to finish this it took me at least a month to do this but because I have commissions to do okay I have other life okay stop it why am I mad why do I sound so mad I'm not mad I'm, I'm not mad okay okay don't be, don't be sad okay ah I remember something uh, the reason why I made this art is uh, like such a nonsense of art like really just purely for fun it's because I came from a very long commission project like it took me four months to do it I didn't do any personal art during that time I was like nah after this long project I am going to make an illustration just purely for fun it doesn't matter if it doesn't make sense and here it is here is the art because there, there's some, there, I put an item there that doesn't make sense. It kind of hurts my brain. The original plan was, uh, actually, there, there was no plan. This illustration was meant to be just a simple drawing, nothing serious. Um, it's supposed to be just her and that little blob there just sitting. The items are just an additional as I just... Uh, go on and draw this I just really just had fun with this I don't even consider this as a fully background art just because uh, it's just a bunch of furniture lying around randomly but even though it's random I may I made sure that the items relate to the character so that's something I made sure on and put my mind onto it because this art doesn't have a decisive plan uh, the rendering and or lighting of this became kind of hard. It it was hard because I didn't have anything on my head because I thought I was going to leave it flat, just flat. But then I changed my mind. Ah, you know what? I'm going to render this. I want to put lighting in this to put more ambience and atmosphere on it. But the problem was I wasn't sure whether to go morning or nighttime because I wasn't so sure of what setting that I'm gonna put on this thing um, I have drawn an item there that didn't make sense at all especially at the end of the illustration okay I know this I, if you notice that don't point it out don't don't criticize I mean that I already know about that and it's kind of annoying but it's fine because it's supposed to be a nonsense illustration this this is just for fun this is purely for fun and we're just gonna leave that massive mistake over there okay if you know if you notice that mistake just just comment down below if you've seen it because 
it's kind of weird having it there but again it's just it's just for fun it doesn't matter we will leave the mistake as it is okay 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 that is what i want to talk about is about the thing about the because there is this time where i had this mindset where i have to plan out my artwork so that it would look great like do the thumbnails like plan out the settings the reasons reasons and motivations although that thing is good but because of that overwhelming thought in my mind i have forgotten to you know that it is really much possible to have a great illustration great art even though without those planning without those thumbnails you can still make a cool looking art without without planning and just just go on with it even though it doesn't make sense you know if it looks pleasing to the eyes then i guess you already um, achieve your goals you know you don't have to plan out a lot of things of course it's different when you want to make a comic or story stuff that thing you really need to plan that out but if it's just for illustrations for simple things as for you know for fun you don't have to purely plan for that it's fine you 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 can draw mindlessly and have a great result because like i said i have that face in my my life that oh i have to plan this out so that this would look great so that it would look cool but this illustration reminded me that you know you know you don't have to do that you you really don't it was just how you can do great illustrations without planning out oh yeah my, my app crashed on that part very cool by the way so yeah now we're on the lighting part i was so confused as heck in here the lighting part does not make sense okay do not point that out i already told you this this was the, this one doesn't make sense it's fine it's fine already it's fine okay but even though this lighting doesn't have doesn't make sense it it was still hard to do because i wasn't used to forming shapes along with the backgrounds it's all it it has always been with characters only but with items and backgrounds i haven't really done that i haven't done a lot of those things one thing that i want to improve on is uh is background and i'm i'm really going to try my best to really be to make background as my second nature as to become a part of me so that it won't be as hard so i hope that next year i would be good at it because i don't think i could practice a lot of backgrounds this year uh this this forming year i meant to say this month this burn month because to me burn month is going to be uh very busy i think yeah it's gonna be more hectic so i don't think i can dedicate myself to practicing on something i'm gonna be focusing on another project too though it will have some backgrounds i guess maybe i will practice but not as focused actually i don't know what i'm talking about i will practice i will try and practice background this uh this month this past months this this rest this remaining months oh my goodness i cannot speak yeah if you made it this far and you have good observation i think my best guess is you will now realize the massive mistake that i have put in there that the those items that i have put in there now that you've seen the lighting now that you seen it i think you can realize what mistake or item that i put in there just if you observe really well i think it's not that hard to spot because i did realize it pretty quickly uh. 
Okay, it's mystery box time. Mystery box time. If you made it this far, you there is a mystery box. Arya, say mystery box. Mystery box. Mystery box. Mystery box. This is just for fun, and I want you to guess what kind of item is inside the box. I have bought something for myself after working so hard on a commission, and yeah, I want you to guess what it is. I will give you some choices. Just this is just for fun, and just just guess what is inside the item. It's, I will show the result on the next video. All right, let's go. For the people who knows what's inside the box, don't tell the answer. I know who you are. I know who those people, who those people are. I know who those people who uh, shared with this information. So, shh, shh, quiet. So here we are at the last part. They're just showing all the summarization of the speed paint. And yeah. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Say goodbye. Goodbye. I'll see. Bye bye. Bye. Goodbye. See you again.